Anuja Malkar, HR manager intern from Eltris Aviation Private Limited. Today I am going to uh, today I am going to guide you with an interesting PPT, which is based uh, which is based on Kevin Crewlot Polish Airlines question and answers requirements benefits. That is, we are going to discuss the important requirements benefits as well as what could be the prominent uh, interview questions so that we get so so that we get a detailed idea about it. All those who want to apply for this post will find it very helpful. So moving ahead with the next, yeah. So this is the content. Uh, we have four subtopics. First is meaning, second requirements, third benefits, fourth question and answers. Okay, that would be the uh, expected interview question and answers uh, to which we will discuss what, what could be good answers you can give for those questions. Yeah. Uh, so at the same time, uh, while I'm guiding you all with the uh, with the content or what is what I'll be speaking about, I'm also going to share some good motivation quotes with you all, so that uh, you know throughout the process you feel motivated. So here's one quote: "Step by step to greatness." That is, you don't have to see the whole staircase; just take the first step. This is said by Martin Luther King Jr. and it is very inspiring. You know. I have this uh, collection of very good motivation quotes. For, so one of the uh, interesting quote is this one. So you have to at least take that first step, which will lead to to success. Was your dreams? Yeah. So going ahead. Meaning, Lord Polish Airlines, legally incorporated as Polski Lini, Lot Mix, Lot SA, is a flag carrier of Poland based in Warsaw and established on 29th December 1928. It is one of the world's oldest airlines in operation. Now we, uh, we will read some technical details about it. That is customer service, then Alliance, Star Alliance, CAO Rafael Mil uh, Milksagurski, headquarters Warsaw, Poland. And its hubs are Warsaw, Chopin Airport, Budapest Airport. Oh, yeah, so we can see this beautiful picture over here. Yes, next is requirements. So if you're going to apply for this post, what are the prior requirements for it? First this minimum age should be 20, 23 years. Minimum arm reach is of 212 centimeters on tiptoes. Minimum high school education, zero levels with fluency in return and spoken English. Ability to speak in other languages would would be an asset an excellent level of health fitness next a willingness to relocate to doha qatar and last but not the least an outgoing personality good interpersonal skills and the ability to work in a multinational team environment yes so when we go to work in such type of organizations there are people uh, you'll find people from different countries so we as Indians have, have that in our genes that we can, you know, uh, we, we can work with people from different backgrounds, different religions. So uh, we need to have that uh, adjustment and we can exist with different kinds of cultures. This is another motivational quote by Elon Musk. Uh, he's the CEO of SpaceX. I didn't know how to do it. So I tried, failed, failed, and again failed, and then got it right. Yes. So when we do uh, a new thing for the first time, uh, we have to keep on trying till we get the best results, what we want. But your step towards success is going to be filled with failures. So you need not get motiv motivated during that. So it is OK to fail. Next important subtopic, benefits. Free cabin crew training course, free uniform. Next is you also get daily per dime provided with training. A local Polish service agreement through Warsaw Aviation, local Polish taxes and Polish social security. Then sales commission of up to 2000 per annum, accommodation per dime, 
ground transport provided for overnight for charter operations and the last is strong existing market and route network which is rapidly expanding also fantastic promotional opportunities are the benefits now moving ahead to the question and answers the first one is what do you know about our airline so this can this can be your first question so while answering this with this question your potential employers are essentially checking that you have done your homework about the airline you are applying to so make sure you do your company research before the interview and familiarize yourself with the key, with the key details the most important thing is to know the airline uh, that airline's operational features and that you can you know just get the get by doing google uh, google search or going to the company's website and it would also be a good idea to mention any positive aspects of the company that you have noticed through external industry websites or magazines or articles ultimately you want to show off that you are aware of what your employers do as well as what they are planning to do in the future yes the next important question can be where do you see yourself in 5 years this shows how much you plan for yourself your organizational skills yeah so this is a common question in many interviews but in the context of the airline industry the staff turnover can be high you're essentially being asked how long you're planning to stick around after all it's fairly common for cabin crew to gain experience with a smaller airline and then jump ship to a bigger one that flies more exotic routes even if this is your long term plan though you should never admit it in an interview yes so please remember this that do not uh, do not confess uh, that you might not be in the next 2 or 3 years but instead talk about how you want to focus on growing learning and improving yourself and mention how you are confident that the airline you are applying allows you to do that and while you are going to work with them maybe for the next 6 months or 1 year 2 years how you will be an asset to the organization and the uh, and the money which the, uh, they will invest in trainings would be worth it for you yes so this is a very motivational line i can see uh, which i got from harvard business review we need our leaders to care more about being honest than being right today's leaders need vulnerability not bravado yeah so before covid the situation was maybe a leaders iq as well as eq was tested and sometimes you know maybe the iq was given more importance but as we faced this covid situation we came to know that people who can the people who can accept change quickly and more flexible they can survive in this pandemic type of situation so now leaders are you know during interviews they they would like to hire a candidate who can be motivated during the time of vulnerability also so you need that trait in you which is emotional intelligence high emotional intelligence is required the next question is what are your strengths to answer this question you need to first understand the key skills and personality traits that airlines are looking for you then need to apply this to your answer for instance air hosts and hostesses hostesses deal with hundreds of passengers a day each with their own needs demands and cultural backgrounds therefore you need to be an excellent communicator capable of handling multiple requests at a time and even diffusing situations where necessary yes you'll also need to display strong teamwork skills attention to detail and a relentless relentless work ethic the trick is to select the qualities that best describe you and then align with them with what your interviewer is looking for so you need to ask within what are your strengths and if you go if you're going for an interview of abc company you need to also do your uh, background check okay and they're looking for so and so candidates so you can align your skills 
with the requirements job requirements so that is what you need to do yeah next the fourth question uh, and this is also one of the interesting questions do you prefer working alone or as a part of a team now this can be a very tricky question okay so how to answer this both completely lay down your ability to work independently though airlines want their staff to be capable of thinking on their feet and not just relying on instructions from others so point out that while you are indeed a good team player and you fully understand the importance of playing well with others you can also think for yourself when you need to yeah you need to have uh, the qualities or the qualities of a good team player as well as a strong leader in you so both are required and yeah one more thing never forget to wear this smile on your face yes this is going to help you throughout whenever you are interacting with your customers or any of your seniors anywhere whenever especially talking to your customers keep this keep this big smile on your face because it it gets a positive positive vibe good energy so you have to have it always next question we call a time when you had to deal with a difficult customer how did you resolve the issue yes so this uh, so this question tells us your problem solving skills how creative you are in it yeah so there is a conventional wisdom in customer service circles about how in any given situation the customer is always right and while call service handlers retail uh, call service handlers detail assistants and waiters waitresses the world over might fervently disagree with this sentiment it's important that you remember it when answering this question yeah so even if your customer is wrong you need to you know be empathetic to them and we need to make them happy this is what is important so when recalling your story be sure to mention how you were empathetic and non judgmental towards the customer and how at all times you know like every time despite your own personal feelings you demonstrated a sincere desire to help them keeping your ego aside yes please do remember that so when we are interacting interacting with a customer the customer is king so we need to you know bow down in front of them and anyhow make them happy whether or not remain calm and uh, sorry whether or not your customers customer got what they wanted is irrelevant but showing that you remain calm and professional exercised sensible decision making and went and went that extra mile to try and accommodate them can be the difference between you getting hired or not so customer customer is the king moving ahead to the next question how will you handle being away from family and friends yeah it uh we the all of us we earn for our family right but being in this aviation industry or airline industry many a times we have to give more importance or more time towards our profession than our family so how are you going to answer this question very smartly let's see this question uh, isn't just alluding to the physical distances you will be traveling but to the long and demanding working hours as well flights operate at all hours of the day 365 days a year so it's likely that at some point you will have to make sacrifices in your personal life so you need to show them that you are willing to make these sacrifices uh, on with a smiling face okay if it's going to be your first time away from home then there's no shame in admitting that it will be challenge yes it is right to be away from our parents or maybe our siblings but make sure you emphasize that it's an exciting one you know that you enjoyed also because it will be a new experience you're meeting new people working with uh, so many uh, working with your colleagues you know you need to show that do i'm away from my family but still i love this you know i love the work i do and i'm very passionate about it yeah so that is what you need to show you could also mention that rather than focusing on being away from friends and family you see it as an opportunity to make new ones 
all while experiencing new cultures and learning new things. So you need to show that you are interested in meeting new people, learning new cultures, eating, uh, you know, uh, eating different cuisines, going to different places. Yeah, because the airline industry needs people, uh, needs employees who are willing to travel. Yeah, that's a very important thing. Next interesting question is, are you applying for vacancies at other airlines? Now, again, this question is very tricky, okay? Uh, but, but still, you have to be honest and a little naughty, okay? Uh, if indeed you are casting the net wide, though, the best approach is to be truthful about it. Yeah, so don't overplay, don't lie, but then you, but then you need to, you, know, you need to, you know, uh, speak, th uh, speak truth, uh, at the same time, you know, cover yourself that you need know, to show that yes, I will be, uh, I will be very dedicated to, to the company which I am hired for. So don't overplay it. However, if you give the impression that you will work for any old airline, it undermines the rest of your answers and suggests that you will take the first offer that comes along. That said, recruiters are not naive either. So strike a balance by confiding that, yes, you are interviewing with one or two other airlines, but that you're fully committed to their recruitment process. Yeah, uh, you need to show that you are very honest. Yes, so this is another interesting quote. Do the right things even when no one is looking. It is called integrity, yeah. Like I can give you an example, uh, you were just walking on the street and you find, you know, a, a note of 100 rupees lying there on the street and and the street is com uh, completely, you know, and there's no one there. So you can just pick up that note of 100 rupees, put in, put in your pocket and then walk away. Yeah, because no one is seeing now, so I don't need to, uh, I didn't, uh, don't need to, you know, uh, give it away to anyone or maybe give it away to a person who needs it. But this is the time where your integrity, your character is tested. You might pick up that note of 100 rupees, but you know, just donate it to a beggar or maybe give it to a temple rather than keeping it for yourself. Yes, because it doesn't uh, belong to you. Yeah, so that is integrity. There was no one around, but still you did not take that 100 rupees of note which was fallen on the street. You just gave it away, maybe to the people who needed it. Yeah, this is integrity. Because when you're around people, everyone can be good. But then when you don't have anyone around you, that time if you are truthful to yourself, then you are a good person. Yes. So uh, some of the inter next questions are, what work situations excite and motivate you? Uh, so a very good answer to this could be, I am most motivated on the job when tasks are organized and the vibe is positive. I really value strong teamwork and good leadership. This could be a really very good answer to your question. Next question is, when have you had to shift your priorities in response to sudden changes? So this shows how you can adjust to changes or you know vulnerability just, uh, just now about which I talked. So how good you are at handling vulnerable situations. So an ideal answer could be, in my current role, our schedule is changed on a regular basis and always at short notice. I have been able to adapt very well to these frequent sudden changes. The person who can adapt to changes will survive in this difficult times. Yeah. And please do not forget to get yourself a copy of this wonderful book from Amazon, which uh, uh, the topic is Most Successful Female Entrepreneurs of India. And it's been written by very talented Grishma Vijay and Captain Shekhar Gupta. So you can go on Amazon and get a cop this copy for yourself. So do that because uh, you know these books are really very interesting. Uh, and it's been written with a lot of hard work and it will be worth buying. Yes. 
another would be pilot's career guide yeah this is also written by captain shekhar gupta this is also a very interesting and insightful book so all the people who want to all the people who are aiming to become a pilot should definitely buy it. and yeah another uh, books could be all best career guide written by captain shekhar and sheena kalra crew career guide yes so all our books are available available on amazon you can get a digital copy for yourself if you want and just quickly get these books and start going yeah the last quote which uh, with which i would like to uh, end this uh, or maybe conclude our uh, conclude our talk is great leadership isn't about control it's about empowering people this is said uh, this is said by brigitte hyacinth uh, so this quote you know means it, uh, it means that leaders need need not always control things you need to empower people that is you need to give your followers the freedom and the training that they can take good decisions even when you are not around okay you, you need to create more leaders so when you give them power to think freedom that time you are empowering people you need not be like hitler but you need to be like maybe you know jawahar lal nehru or uh, obama so these type of people who have really empowered people around them thank you have a great day ahead